Hi guys, welcome back to Miscellaneous Pleasures. I am back with the finale of season two of Dark. Um, I just finished the seventh episode like 20, 25 minutes ago. So I pretty much remember everything and I actually also talk, talked like 20, 20, not 25 minutes, but I definitely talk about 15 to 20 minutes after the end of the seventh episode to sort of recap everything that I saw. So I really don't have anything else to talk about right now because what else am I going to say that I did not say at the end of the seventh episode's reaction? I can't think of anything at the very least. Uh, but yeah, one basic thing I'll say is um, what I expect from this episode, like I don't have any expectations per se, but I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be sort of, you know, this episode is going to be a journey like all the previous seven episodes have been like. And it's just a question of what's going to happen, how it's going to happen, what are the answers that you're going to get and what are the questions that are going to be raised. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of everything. And yeah, I am excited for this. And here we go. Oh, the name of the episode is Endings and Beginnings. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the name of the first episode was Beginnings and Endings. Quite apt, isn't it? For a closed loop. Wait, what? Was that Noah? That's Noah. It's Noah's music. That. Wait a second. How? Wait, what? Is this end? And this end is the Anfang. Alles ist miteinander verbunden. What? Zukunft. Um, I'm pausing this at the intro because I'm like, what the F did just happen? Like, not this previous scene. I mean, this was kind of obvious. I mean, not obvious, but then, you know, some moving parts were moving, like, whatever. Like, the, the thing I'm talking about is Elizabeth and Charlotte. I mean, I don't even know how to say this in English because I don't know how to frame the sentence. Uh, Elizabeth is Charlotte's mother, and Charlotte is Elizabeth's mother. Like what? Okay, but how does that even work? Like genetically speaking, I mean, I mean, if time travel exists, I guess this is possible in theory. Even though I don't know what are the ramifications of something like this. But how does it even work, genetically speaking? Like, I mean, they are in themselves a closed loop, aren't they? Because, I mean, yeah, they are closed loop in themselves because she doesn't have a sort of previous generation because her previous generation is also her future generation, which means these two are the only thing in the whole loop. It's like a... I don't know what the word for this is. Yeah, but yeah. Wow. So Noah was with Elizabeth? Like, and Noah was with Elizabeth even in the fourth episode or third episode of season one, right? Like, he, we thought that she was kidnapped, but then she wasn't. She came back home. Like that whole, okay, wow, I'm going to talk about this at the end of the episode because I'm not going to do it now. What? Dude. 
What? Ich habe dir versprochen, dass ich es wieder gut mache. Und ich mach's wieder gut. Okay. Woher weißt du das alles? Die letzten zwölf Monate. Du hast mir alles beigebracht. What? Twelve months? Und die Vergangenheit. Alles, was passiert. So, how old is this Jonas? Alles, was passieren wird. Like a year older than we what? Then we saw him in zwei Seiten. Two episodes ago? Ja, und Sigmundus wollen eine neue Welt erschaffen. Du und ich, wir wollen diese retten. Okay, he brought her here. Was ist hier? Das ist der einzige Ort, der sicher ist. The bunker, yeah, the bunker is where people are alive. Bitte nicht, Martha. Bitte. Oh, Mann. Okay, I guess I understand why he's doing this. Alexander hat da was einbetoniert. Radioaktiven Müll. Ich habe ihm dabei geholfen. Okay, he's telling the truth. Es tut mir leid. Finally, I'm guessing. Das löst es aus. Was? Das hängt alles zusammen. Er What? hat gesagt, das alles hat etwas mit dem AKW zu tun. Jonas wusste das. Du hast Jonas gefunden? Nein, er ist zurückgereist aus der Zukunft. <lacht> okay. Was ist los? So, the nuclear waste is what's going to cause this apocalypse? Leute, wo bist du? Ist Franziska bei dir? Okay, he is back. Katharina. And to be fair, I was just going to mention it. Uh, Mikkel and uh, Mikhail, the guy who plays the elder self, older self of Mikkel, they both look a bit similar, don't they? So again, casting of the show is absolutely magnificent. Okay, here we go. Noah with his Adam. Du wolltest sie nie retten. Keinen von ihnen. Glauben Sie also recht? Du hast immer noch nicht verstanden, wie dieses Spiel gespielt wird. Worauf wartest du noch? Wait, what? Die Zeit spielt ihr grausames Spiel mit uns. Du glaubst, es ist deine Bestimmung, mich zu töten. Aber das ist ebenso wenig dein Schicksal, wie es meines ist, hier und jetzt zu schaffen. What's going on with the gun? Like, is it not uh, the safety engine or whatever is there in the gun? Like, is it not Erst going off or something? Jeder Emotion sind wir wirklich frei. Erst wenn man bereit ist, das zu opfern, was einem das Teuerste ist. Agnes, what is she doing here? Agnes. So is she back with the Sigmund or something? Lässt sich nur lösen. Because that's what she was asking for, right? Like last season or I guess this season. Yeah, it was this season where she was like, you know what, I want to come back. Wir können unserer Bestimmung nicht entkommen. What? How, how did the gun work now? No, Noah is dead? Are you joking? I mean, killed by your own sister, like that's... Wow, like honestly. What? Das ist die Zeit. Ha? Huh? Wir verbinden Vergangenheit und Zukunft. What the hell?
Oh, the lights are blinking. Oh, the passage is open. Wait, the birds are dying. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, is this finally... Okay, the passage is definitely open then. Don't leave! Oh, you idiot! Claudia? Okay. Okay, we are going to have a mother-daughter reunion. That's nice. Noah? What's he doing here? Noah. Du siehst anders aus. What's that? Dies. Er ist von Martha. Okay. But Okay, so he is the one who takes them to Okay, so he is the one who takes them to 1921. Oh, Claudia and Regina are joining the bunker people? Okay. We have Peter, Elizabeth, Claudia, and Regina. Oh, she... Oh, she has realized that. That... Uh, the Jonas that she gave in the lake was a future version of the same Jonas. So schließt sich der Kreis. Adam, what's what's he doing here? Wait, he traveled to this point. Ich habe dir gesagt, dass alle Spielsteine auf ihrer Position sind. Ich um, bin der Auslöser what? dafür, dass du zu dem wirst, was ich heute bin. Ma Wait, what? He shot Martha. What? Why would he do that? Wait, so this is how she dies? Manchen Schmerz vergisst man nicht. Du wirst diesen hier dein Leben lang mit dir tragen. Aufmachen. Nein, bitte nicht. Aufmachen. Nein, das ist falsch. Du bist Jonas. Das ist alles deine Schuld. Ja, es ist meine Schuld, alles. Aber ich bin hier, um euch zu retten. Nur vor retten. Vor der Apokalypse. Was für eine Apokalypse? Was ist mit Martha? My body is a Was ist mit Martha? That keeps me dancing with the woman I love.
Here we go. The apocalypse is beginning, lads. What? Okay, this is the time particles again. And Catherine is going to go back to 50s or 80s. I'm guessing 80s. Noah! Okay, he's in the bunker? Okay, and I'm guessing this is where he meets Elizabeth. Wait, what? This is what happened like uh, season one finale, right? Yeah, that time we had. Oh, it's Elizabeth. Yeah, that time we had uh, Helga and Jonas. My body is a cage. Uh, Okay. Just because I mean, <laughs> it's her mother and it's her mother, like... Oh boy, it's the apocalypse. So this group goes to 1920s. Claudia and the bunker people will survive. Katharina is going back to 80s or 50s. What? Not yet. I mean, how is this guy going to survive? Like... He doesn't have a time machine, does he? Martha! What? Wait, so she survived? Are you telling me that she saved her own, like, past self from dying, like something like that. What's that supposed to mean? Um, what? Okay, it looks like a time machine sort of made into a ball. What? What do you mean, what world? Oh, you're joking. Are you kidding me? episode like that okay okay this is just okay this is just too much to handle right now
Like I, I did not even write anything like in the last 20 minutes or something. No, no, I did write a couple of things, but then yeah. Um wow. Okay, this this changes things. This is this this changes things a lot. Like I I don't even know where to begin. Like what do you mean what world? Like I, the question like are there like two earths now like in the flash? Earth on earth two sort of thing? But then okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't handle this like this. I have to follow some structure because without structure, I've said this before, I'll say it again, without structure, this discussion cannot happen. Like I'll forget stuff, I'll mess things up, and I'll like yeah. I mean <laughs> it's funny, right? The way they began this episode, like Elizabeth and Charlotte are like, I can't handle this. Like, how does that even work? Like honestly, I don't need this. How does that even work? Because the more I think about it, the sort of, I mean, I, I have had about 50, 55 minutes to think about this because from the moment I saw it, but it doesn't make sense to me because, I mean, genetically speaking, I guess it could make sense, but I mean, it's time travel and it's hypothetical, like of the highest magnitude. So I'm not really going to go into that, but then I guess it makes sense otherwise because I mean Noah met Elizabeth in the bunker. They grew up together and they're saying because it's an apocalyptic world and the whole town is dead. So they grew up together and they married and they had a kid. And the kid was her daughter. And somehow I guess she time traveled. But Noah doesn't know where or when because otherwise he would have known that this is Charlotte. Uh, and I guess even Elizabeth doesn't know or she would have told Noah about it, right? Because I mean, at the end of the day, Noah and Elizabeth married and had a kid. So obviously it's not like they are enemies or something. Um, so she traveled back somehow and she ended up with Thanos, the guy who wrote the book about time travel through a bootstrap paradox. And she grew up here and had a kid with Peter, who turned out to be Elizabeth. Okay, I mean, I, I mean, okay, fine. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but I don't know, like, how genetically this works. But then, fine. So, yeah, of course, the nuclear power plant and what Clausen is doing, I mean, he had this thing, like, he even said that maybe he can't prove his brother's sort of murder because yeah, that's what I was talking about in the previous episode's reaction. And it sort of makes sense that a murder which is 34 years old cannot be proved that easily. So he decided to go to the nuclear power plant to sort of investigate and see things because he sort of suspected that there are other things which are hidden there and sort of, you know, buried. As it turns out, no pun intended, Nuclear waste was buried there, obviously we knew that from like the beginning of the season. And that's what causes the apocalypse. I guess what also causes the apocalypse is the sort of Katharina opened that portal at the same time. And the fact that the passage was open, I guess it all sort of contributed. And also if I'm not mistaken, I mean, yeah, Elizabeth obviously had it turned on the big ball black ball in 2054 and uh, Francisca and Magnus also had their big ball uh, sort of the machine turned on in 1921. So I'm guessing all of this sort of contributed to the uh, I guess the apocalypse. I'm not really sure how that works but I guess that's what happened. Um, which of course leads to the discussion that Jonas obviously opened the passage. I do not really understand the reasoning that he gave, but I'm going to go with it because why not? Because most of the reasonings that have been given by sort of time travelers in this show, like especially in this episode and like in general, it's that why does this have to happen? Because this is what's going to make me do that in the future or something like that. So I'm going to accept that sort of a reasoning because it's a closed loop. Everything is a closed loop. 
So why not? I say that keeping in mind what happened in the end, I'm going to come back to it later. Um, so obviously people in the bunker are the ones who survive. So people in the bunker are Elizabeth, Peter, Regina, Claudia, and Noah. I mean, I don't really understand why Claudia was there. I mean, she, she obviously sort of, you know, took Regina in because she wanted to keep her alive. Even though she's completely, I mean, she's definitely going to die of cancer. Like, would you rather not have her die through an apocalypse and not like suffer and die over cancer? I don't really understand the reason. But nevertheless, she saved her. But why couldn't she do that with the time machine? Like, she had the time machine, right? Yeah, she had the time machine. Like, Jonas, our Jonas, he gave the time machine to Claudia and told her to keep it in the bunker, near the bunker, or something like that. And he went. So, Claudia had the time machine. So, I don't really understand why she did not use it. Um, another first, she did not use it because Jonas told her not to. Um, that kind of makes sense. Um, yeah. Noah is dead. Killed by Agnes. Noah is dead. I do not understand what happened in that scene. Noah used the gun. It had the safety thing on or off. One or the other. I don't know how guns work. So whatever it was, the safety thing was not working. Uh, so the trigger was not getting pulled. But the minute Agnes sort of did the safety thing, it worked. So, was, why didn't it work like two minutes before that? Or is it what happened always? So it's like a closed loop. So there is no reasoning as to why it happened. It just happened because it's time. Like, or because of the fact that a future self of Adam exists. So this Adam cannot die. Like, it's sort of difficult to understand this logic. And I don't understand this logic one bit, but this is time travel. So, and time travel doesn't exist in our world. So I'm sort of trying to understand what happened by the laws that I understand, but by the laws that work in this TV show, it kind of makes sense. I don't know. I can't explain it. Um, but yeah, Noah died. He, he died. That's it. He died. Like, I want to talk about Noah here because the first time we saw Noah was we sort of got introduced to him by Elizabeth's disappearance. And it makes sense because Elizabeth, and she did not die or didn't get kidnapped or anything because she is Noah's wife. So she was just hanging out with this younger wife's younger self. I don't know what he was doing, but he was just hanging out. And she returned along with a watch that had Charlotte written in it, which happens to be his mother-in-law and also his daughter. So, I guess that kind of makes sense. Why he gave the watch? Because he was just giving it to his daughter. So why not? Um, okay. I'm trying to think what is Noah did. Uh, like he, he killed people. I still don't understand why he killed them. Was, were they just guinea pigs or something? Like, he was just trying out time travel and did not work. So, the people who he used to, for the experiment, they died. Like, I guess. I guess that's the reasoning. Um, so, yeah. He, he then was roaming around. And then, I guess, all this time, he was sort of searching for Charlotte. From the point he lost her to the point he found her, all he, I guess, did was kill people, figure out time travel, and eventually find Charlotte by killing Claudia. And then he was also with Adam, so he guess, I guess he was taking instructions from him. He was also grooming his younger self. He, yeah, he killed Claudia, got the missing pages, and then there was this whole Charlotte thing. Um, so yeah, 
I don't really understand few motives about him, but I'm guessing there's obviously another season of this. So they will explain some things about it. I mean, we are going to see the younger Noah, right? So maybe some things will be explained through that. We also had Noah give a letter to Stranger Units. Like, what was that letter? Like, we did not really get to read anything, but I, it just struck me. He said something about how the letter was from Martha, and Stranger was sort of behaving like this isn't possible, this isn't this isn't how it is, or something like that. And I mean, something was written in the letter. I guess a part of it was the fact that he has to say Magnus, what's his name, Bartosz and Francisca. So he went there and saved them. But what I don't understand is, like, doesn't he know that Martha is alive? Or when I say Martha is alive, I mean that there exists another version of Martha here. And if he doesn't know that, then that... Is that why he said that the letter was impossible? Because he saw his own Martha die. But then he, how can he not know? Because this Jonas was like saved by Martha. So obviously Stranger knows about this Martha. So there's something obviously going on there. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, I sort of, I'm blank with this whole new Martha thing because if she is from another world, then by coming here, did she change time? And because, okay, I fail to understand this. I guess she cannot, she did not change time because, you know, we know for a fact that Stranger Jonas is alive. We know for a fact that Adam is alive. So this Jonas must have survived somehow and he obviously survived this apocalypse because if he didn't survive then how would he be alive so she was obviously saved by martha i guess in all cycles so if he was like which means that this is not time changing or anything so i guess this is still the closed loop but i'm not really sure anymore uh we also had katharina go back in time through the passage the cave passage uh she obviously is going to i guess 86 87 or maybe 53 i mean it depends on whether she knows which year she will go to by uh, taking the left or uh, taking the left or the right so it will be interesting to see I, i'm guessing i mean it would make sense if she goes to 86 or 87 because we have also already we already know for a fact that ulrich is going to be in 54, from 54 to 87, so there is no change in that. So maybe she'll go to 86 and sort of rescue him and stuff like that. I'm not really sure. Um, what has happened in the episode? I'm trying to think, I can't think. uh yeah i am mentally tired like first of all i've done four reactions today i've done two stranger things reactions and i've done two dark reactions now and this episode's ending was just bonkers like honestly first of all they used that song uh this is a song that i happen to know by the way because of house house md i'm pretty sure i've heard this in house md um uh, my body in a cage or my body is a cage i think something like that yeah i think it's my body is a cage uh yeah it's a wonderful song absolutely brilliant and yeah it's mentally draining man like honestly i'm like i'm still contemplating the fact that first of all we have a mother-daughter relationship which is beyond science we have another sort of time travel mystery here of well not really time travel mystery but more like multiverse stuff which i did not expect okay 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 yeah, i mean i don't know if i have anything else to add 
I just sort of, yeah, just like I said that, I realized that Adam killed Martha, like I haven't, I haven't even sort of talked about it, but Adam killed Martha, like why would he do that? I mean, I understand the logic that, you know, I mean, of course, when Adam was 66 years younger than he is now, which means he was when he was young, he obviously saw Martha being killed by his, by Adam. So, so to continue the cycle, he kills Martha now because, I don't know why, or I don't know the because of it, but then he kills Martha now and he also wants apocalypse to happen because that's what creates the black matter, sorry, the dark matter, the big black ball. And so, you know, he wants everything to continue because he wants the world to be destroyed. Like, it's interesting because Jonas and Sengen Jonas, nobody, none of them want to become Adam, but all of their goals are the same, even though they want to do it differently. Like, Jonas and Sengen Jonas, to an extent, they want to, they want to destroy this time travel thing and they want to sort of destroy this whole sort of, world but not necessarily the world in terms of like kill everybody but more in the terms of let's change time so that we don't exist but all of them do and they get to survive but then adam's intentions of the same is to destroy the world kill everybody because everybody is part of this time travel nonsense so let's kill everybody and let's create a new world and it is what it is really isn't it like I, this is also interesting, like another thing that I noticed while I uh, watching the episode, not noticed, but more like realized, is the so young Jonas is following Claudia. Young Claudia is following Jonas. But just Jonas, right? Because younger Jonas, I mean, not stranger Jonas, younger Jonas. And we then have people like Noah right now. He, he made a dialogue uh, to Stranger Jonas where he said, Adam told me that we'll be friends and then you'll be training or something. So, so, okay, wait, I lost my train of thought. Uh, so, basically, it feels like Jonas and Claudia were also friends or at least one followed the other actually both of them followed each other but then through some point of time they became enemies and then there is Noah here who was never with Claudia I think he was always sort of an Adam follower and he was always his friend and stuff so yeah it's a very interesting sort of proposition and right now I'm just blank like I can't even form words like I'm really like I don't know. I'm failing to understand multiple things and I can't process this. Yeah, I can't process it. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's all for this reaction, guys. I seriously do not have anything else to add. I'll be back. I won't make a reaction for the next season's first episode for a while because I guess I should say this now because this episode will be out. I don't know when this will be out because yeah, I guess you know what, I'll probably make another video for that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, that's all for this reaction. Please do share your thoughts on the season, the episode. If you could explain to me how this whole thing works of mother-daughter, mother-daughter relationship or any of this without spoiling the next season, please do do so. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.